I didn't have my coffee yet. Oh. Honey. What's going on everybody? It's me, Jason with Buy, Build, Sell, your Los Angeles contractor and developer. Now, what we're doing today, it is gloomy in Los Angeles, kind of shocking and surprising to some degree because we don't get a lot of uh, gloomy weather here. Today, we are on our Bluebell project. So what we're gonna be building here is we're basically gonna be putting a nice retaining wall along the whole front. That's gonna keep all this dirt up, okay? Nice staircase coming down to the front of the, uh, the entryway. Have a nice walkway, greenery. They're putting in a uh, baseball like netting system all the way in the corner over there, which would be pretty cool. Big driveway, uh, trash location over here, and then all that stuff leads to the backyard. So let's go check out the back. Right now, what we're gonna be starting to do is starting to paint the trellis. Though this has been out here for a while. It's been untreated for a while, but we are now gonna start priming it and painting it because the clients have finally made a decision as to what they want it to look like. So we're gonna get that going. We also have our garage door installed today, which means that the house will be officially locked up. This is great news because that means I can start tearing down the fences around the property and start working on the hardscape that that encases. So one of the issues with this, this untreated lumber is if it doesn't get treated, it can actually cause damage to the stucco because it'll kind of leak essentially when it gets wet. And uh, we were able to thankfully take off a lot of the issues. We can kind of see a little bit up here, some of that oranging that's happening up there. So by getting rid of it, we're like, okay, that's it. We finally have to make a decision. So that was good because it forced the clients to make a decision. Now we know what color we're painting it and we're gonna get started with that. So basically all the cuts that are in there still have sawdust kind of stuck in the gaps. So that first rain let all that sawdust out, covered the whole entire house with it. So we were thankfully able to clean it. Um, but this is kind of kind of lock in all that stuff and make sure that kind of hopefully never happens again. So what people don't realize is that stucco is actually a absorbent material. So if you see here, like, you know, as it gets wet, all this dirt that's on here, see that? So even though I'm cleaning it off, you're still having the remnants of the soil that's stuck in there. That, that stucco is actually taking it in whatever it can, just because it's, it's actually a permeable material, essentially. So it's going to take whatever it's on it and suck it in. That's why a lot of people actually put sealer on stucco. It happens to be an expensive item, so we usually try to wait till the end to put it on, so that way we can clean whatever's happened over time. And something that's really cool that can actually help remove this is bleach. So taking some bleach and scrubbing it down will actually eliminate the soil that's in the stucco and then you'll clean that off, put sealer on it, and then hopefully you never have a problem again. Okay, so I just thought of something. That's right, folks. So the size of the name is this is finally the moment where the house gets completely locked up. So this is gonna allow us the ability to start working on the outside without worrying about anybody coming into the inside. We're finally gonna get the garage doors on. As you can see here, we've left them plenty of room, free of any debris or anything like that. So they have plenty of room to work. They'll have all of their spots set up to set the tracks. We have our motor locations ready for all that to be installed. And that's pretty much the main thing that you kind of need to have done. They need a clean space to work, setting up ladders. They need multiple spots to set up ladders. And these doors are heavy. They are not light by any means. Uh, you know, the aluminum ones are pretty light, but we use real heavy wood doors, so they're not gonna be light at all. We're gonna get those set up and you'll see at the end, how beautiful this looks. If you wanna see more, go ahead, press that subscribe button. Your support's my motivation, and I'll see you on the next video.